Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by Anissa Sowland and also six foot ten or whatever you are. Seven, eight. Eight. Please, eight. <laughs> Jordan Thompson, what's happening? You alright? Good, thank you. All good. good. We're, we're keeping a safe distance at the moment, yeah, you know? Yeah. Say no to coronavirus. Say no, yeah. absolutely. Now, I do want to repeat that story that Kala just told you. <laughs> because I find it hilarious. So, uh, member of Team Fury contacts Kala to ask about Jordan. He doesn't know who Jordan is, so he Googles him, finds a tennis player called Jordan Thompson, <laughs> and uh, sends him that and says, is this the guy? <laughs> it looks nothing like you, and he's a tennis Something player. But a tennis player for sparring. I'm, I'm unknown at the minute. I'm unknown. For like, like an unknown like entity. But he was a tennis radio. champ as well. So. I was all right at tennis, you know. I knew I knew of Jordan Thompson as well. Oh, you did. He, he was tipped to be the better one, though. But I, I could I could still have a little I could still have a little go with him. I I, re I could do better against him in tennis than he could do against me in boxing. That's a fact. I put that to him. All right. Yeah. Well, I reckon that's I probably reckon a safe that. bet as well. <laughs> that's a safe. When bet. did we have our first interview? Probably three years ago. It's been about just over three years ago. Three years ago. And obviously, you oh, wow. I remember you telling me that you kind of your mum, your dad, everyone in your family's some sort Pretty of mixed sport, martial yeah. arts Mom and background dad, yeah both world karate champions dad won it five times Mum won it once little sisters touring with lion king at the minute and my brother my brother's the brains and the money man he's on wall street he's living it up on wall street in new york so you can play tennis as well though you can play a bit of tennis sounds good so nisa what's your connection to jordan what's the involvement here uh well looking after him in the management side of things uh he's signed to frank warren at the moment um you know, just just built up a relationship. I've, I've seen the potential in Jordan. He's a very good fighter, and um, I think you know the aim is to to, to get a, a title within a year at cruiserweight. You know, British title, something along those lines, and then move up to heavyweight. Um, I think he's got the height for it, definitely. He's been over uh, training with uh, sparring with Tyson as well. Did a very good job there. Impressed a lot of people. Um, so it's just a matter of time where his body has to catch up with his height, basically, and uh, his metabolism needs to slow down a little bit and mm. stop taking so many shits. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and eat more. We just had lunch and he's sitting there eat more. pushing his food around his plate. It's like, rabbit come on. food. They call it rabbit yeah. food. People call it rabbit food. I, I like. He's I have my phases. High, high protein. I go on like diet. hashtag vegan, yeah. but I'm a part-time vegan. These are. It's a real thing, you know. Part-time veganism. I can't. Is veganism a word? Yeah, veganism. I'm sure. I'm a Any word veganism. is a word. Any yeah, veganism. I made it a word. But yeah, I'm a part-time vegan. Veganism definitely. I'll do it. It's not a word. No, definitely. It's a word. You say it's a word. Um, Jordan, obviously, I, I spoke to David Adelaide. Um, David. Uh, last week, actually, and he mm -hmm. kind of gave us a little insight into what it was like. Yeah. Obviously, preparing for uh, Deontay Wilder helping Tyson Fury. So yeah, 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 I just wanted to kind of get your insight to how that was for you. And yeah, he said. The word he used to describe Fury was like it was just awkward, like the whole thing was awkward. Yeah, but he's, he, a, yeah. he's a slip. What in terms of actually sparring? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, he's a slippery customer. Man. Yeah, he's a slippery customer. I I can't lie. Like for me, one of my main things in my main attributes is speed and obviously obviously height. So for me to be in there against someone similar height or a bit taller was was mad for me. I was like, okay, this is gonna be a little one to work out. But well, I was doing well with it, you know. I I enjoyed it, but. In terms of actually connecting with him that many times, you see that backhand, you can't really hit him with that backhand. Like, I'm fast as well, I like to think of myself as very fast, but yeah, I struggle to connect with that, with that guy right there. But I don't know, he's, he's had bags of experiences. For a big guy as well, the way he moves and the way that he dances and his hand speed, it's crazy. It is crazy. I, I, I'm genuinely interested in this because obviously beforehand, Wilder made some comments in the build up, you know, calling Fury pillow, uh, fist. pillow fisted, etc. Right. etc. But which, he changed his mind now, don't it? Maybe, 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 well, yeah, I mean, possibly that's the case. Uh, but I did ask David, and I'll ask the same thing to you, about mm. kind of Fury's power from a, from a sparring perspective. How would you describe it? His power is a concussive puncher. I wouldn't say he's got that one punch knockout, but he's a concussive puncher, like, he'll break you down. Yeah. He's got that sort of, like, man strength. He's very physical. He's very, 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 very physical. So I think with, with Fiori, he's more like a break you down type of fighter. Like he'll pick you apart surgically. Um, one punch knockout power. I'm not sure. He's a heavy. He's a 19 and a half man. So if he hits you well and he gets you right, you're going to sleep out of your butt. In terms of just one punch, no, he's not got crazy power, but it's, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's enough. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. We've seen that. It's enough. Yeah. And sparring, sparring like big 18 ounce gloves, head guard, loads of Vaseline. It's not the same when you know with them ten ounces like like we saw. I can't lie, I was a bit surprised that how we um how we beat Wilder the way he did. I knew he was gonna win, I thought he'd stop him, but I didn't think it'd be like that. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be like that. How many rounds do you think you've done with him? 
I've done over 30 rounds in him, I think. Over 30 yeah. rounds? Yeah, well over 30 rounds, yeah. All big guys, in there. I mean, George Fox was in there as well, and he, big guy, he, he's big as well. And yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some big, big guys. I think he had a, he had a nice little um, balance of spine parties. He had like your aggressive ones, he had your stand back, stand back boxing ones, your sharp ones, he had your movers. So he had a good, good balance. I think it was um, the right little mixture, to be fair. Mm. We, we all done well, we all gave a good account of ourselves. He, he was happy with it, the team were happy. We all got good feedback. So there was a lot of um, good to take away from it, man, mm. that's for sure. But experience like that for Jordan, uh, where Jordan is in his career, is is, is priceless. No, I mean, look, I, <clears throat> when, when I when I thought the uh, Tyson texted me, he wanted he asked for a Hergovic to go out and spar with him. I thought that was a good idea, but then Philip couldn't for one reason or another, and I thought, who do I know who's tall, cruiserweight? Because you know Wilder could probably bowl down to cruiserweight, yeah. you know, and 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 you know similar sort of style. And Jordan obviously was the first on the list. And uh, Tyson lapped it up, you know, it was great sparring, he was there for five weeks. Uh, you get more experience doing that than to knocking over of you know, a, a journeyman. Uh, of course you need to do both both of them, keep busy, but uh, the sparring with Tyson, you know, he's probably the, one of the greatest fighters around at the moment. And, and probably he's going to leave a legacy which is going to be remembered for many, many years. So mm. it's, 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 at the end of the day, that you've helped prepare someone for that fight yeah mm. that is that is an experience yeah? that fight is momentous like, that's, that's like, for me i still can't believe it you know it's like one of the biggest moments <laughs> in sport for me anyway you know it's like yeah. wanting wanting the underdog to win and it's just a it's a great moment when you out john that's the question i mean i'm just wait, i'm waiting on a date at the minute more of a question for a minute yeah i'm frank i'm frank yeah, yeah. For frank yeah um we're waiting on a date, hopefully potentially. We've, we've been offered, um, there's been a couple of mentions of some names and some potential title fights more towards the summer. I'm more than happy to, to take them. I'm ready for the step up now. But like I said, it's, it's a learning process. Like I want to keep busy. One of the most important things for me in boxing is momentum. I feel like I've got quite a bit of momentum from doing that count with Tyson. Like I want to carry it on. So I'm just waiting on a, a fight date beforehand and then we're ready to step up, man. Like for me, for this year, like I, I want to get them titles. Like I'm ready to step. I'm ready to get in the mix of things. Like the cruiserweight scene at the minute, domestically, it's crazy right now. So I, I like I like to see myself in the mix of that, and, and I see myself coming out uh, on on top of that on top of that mix. So it's just making the fights at the right time. Obviously, everything about in boxing is timing. So for me, I, I'm interested. I, I want to get involved. I want to get some some big fights. So so I'm keen to make it happen. So let's 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 see what comes to the table. All right, I know it's freezing and mm. you've got shorts on, so yep. I'm not going to keep you too much longer. So, <laughs> what are you doing, mate? I what are you doing? All that coronavirus. <laughs> what are you doing? It's a hug. Nisa, Jordan, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and uh, just keep us updated when you're going to be out next. And yeah, yeah you said possibly over the summer period. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Before. Hopefully, Hopefully before. Hopefully before. We'll see. All right, we'll top see. man, thank you very much.